Hi friends, uh, today we are going to discuss a little bit about the limit, alright? It's really one of the interesting chapter of calculus. Uh, so, uh, let me give an example over here. Uh, suppose this is my circle, right? It is my circle and it is another circle of the same size, right? Again, this is another one. And again, this is another one. And this is again another one. These all are the circles, right? And all the circles have the same area that is A, 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 right? These all are the same circles of the same radius, right? So these all are the same circles. Now, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to make uh, the polygons, right, inside this circle, uh, or you can say the polygon circumscribed, right? So, I'm just going to first make a quadrilateral over here inside the circle. Suppose this is a quadrilateral which have the area A, right? Again, uh, now the total number of sides in this quadrilateral, right? Of course, it's quadrilateral, that's why here the sides are 4. Now, again, uh, what happens when we increase the number of sides, right? Let's see. Uh, so that's why I'm making a pentagon, right? One, two, three, four, and the five, right? Now it is pentagon, right? Now see what is the difference between this area, right? Now what I'm watching here, the difference between this, uh, the area of the circle and the area of the quadrilateral, is more than the difference between the circle and the area of this pentagon right so gradually I'm seeing the area between uh, the this polygon and the circle is decreasing right again what I'm doing here now I'm making suppose a uh, hexagon over here one two three four five and six right again now the number of sides are six and again I'm watching here the area is becoming lesser and lesser gradually from here to here right now suppose uh, I'm making here uh, suppose octagon right one two three four five six seven and eight right so now again when we made the octagon over here the area has become more more uh, in the polygon but difference between the area of the circle and the polygon is becoming lesser and lesser from here to here right the the gap is becoming lesser and lesser and lesser right since the area of the circle is constant right because these all have the same circle now suppose now I'm making over here a decagon right so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten right when I'm making decagon, right, it's looking almost it is it's going to cover the whole area of the circle, right? So now, when I was increasing the number of sides, means the when the polygons uh, number of sides I was increasing, the area of the polygon was increasing, right? Since the area of the circle was constant, the gap between this uh, area of the circle and the area of the polygon uh, is gradually gradually decreasing gradually gradually decreasing or what I can say the area of the polygon is almost going to cover the area of the circles right gradually as I was increasing the number of sides right so now what I can say uh, or le let's assume first if an number of sides approaches to infinity what happened then infinity means huge number that we cannot even imagine right it's too huge so if the number of sites is infinity, then what will happen? Of course, this will almost cover this whole circle, right? Then what I can say, the area of the polygon will be almost, almost equals to the area of the whole circle. As number of sites approaches to the infinity, the area of the polygon also approaches to the area of the circle, right? So in such cases, when the number of sites will uh, number of the sites of the polygon will be infinity, how to calculate the total area of the polygon, right? In such cases, to calculate the area of the polygon, we actually introduce a new topic in mathematics that is called limit, right? So 
this our this information or this uh, example we can also write like this taking the limit right limit right uh, when uh, just I'm writing in normal language right? no, number of sites right when number of sites approaches to infinity right area of polygon area of polygon also approaches to the area of circle right area of the polygon also approaches to the suppose area of the circle right right so now I am writing this the same thing uh, fine limit right when uh, the number of the sites increases uh, suppose uh, up approaches to the infinity right when li uh, taking limit I am doing here if the number of the sites approaches to the infinity then the area of the right uh, area of the polygon will also approach to the area of the whole circle right this is actually the concept of limit right in mathematics it's uh, the generalization I can say right uh, so simple now I'm doing a little bit different things right with uh, another function I'm taking now function and doing some stuffs right suppose we have